Hey people, it's Coach Simmons here. This is a somber day. Day after Black Friday. <laughs> this is the blackest of days. We're going to discuss that HBCU mentality. <clears throat> the narrative going out there is that we should play nobody but HBCUs. Because we play other HBC, other schools, other PWIs, if you will, no matter what level they are, we are not capable of playing. We are not capable of getting that win. We are capable of adjusting our offense. NC Central was the undisputed reigning black national champion. Ranked as high as six in the country for beating up on other HBCUs. They get into the playoffs and they play Richmond. A team that lost to a team that they beat and get ran off the floor. I know what you're going to say. Coach, what about the injuries? The quarterback don't play defense, people. It was completely outclassed by adjustments at halftime. Speaking of adjustments, the king of I ain't changing shit. Coach Prime was the undisputed magnet for HBCU football for two years. First HBCU coach to get a power five position as a coach, not a coordinator. He is also the undisputed champion of I ain't changing nothing, like I said. Just finished off the season four and eight. Some people in Colorado are gonna say, hey, hey, that was better than it was the year before. But he'll tell himself, no one up to his expectations. Even changing the offensive coordinator didn't mean nothing. Because the hard head makes us off behind. We're going to see next year. And my man Hugh, he didn't play a PWI today. But Hugh got blown out the building by a interim, if you will, coach from Southern. That final score is not what that score was. HBCU football is going to be seen as a third tier football. You're already playing the FCS with the second tier. We you consider yourself a fourth tier, Power 5, Super 5, FCS, and then HBC football. How do we change this? Do we recruit better talent? Or do we actually acknowledge it's coaching? People don't know how to adjust to an adjustment, to adjust to a jab. Sometimes you gotta get out your own way and realize that maybe it's the ones leading who are making you fall behind. I'm out.